Every year since 2005, people have voted for their favorite bird. And the voting for 2020 just ended. Let's learn more about this competition and see which bird won. A New Zealand conservation organization called Forest and Bird runs an annual competition where people can vote for Bird of the Year. As it is a regional organization, your choices are all New Zealand birds. But check out some of the contenders from this year. The Kauriria, or New Zealand falcon, is a bird of prey that can fly 140 miles per hour in a dive, but also dodge between trees to chase prey. Backed by a group of fans called the Millennial Falcon Party. The Kia, a beautiful parrot that lives in cold alpine conditions, using its intelligence to find all kinds of food. The group of Kia fans is called Kia Every Year. The Pukeko, which is a way better name than its common name, the Australasian Swamp Hen. These birds hold food in their feet. They did not have an official fan group. The Hoiho, or yellow-eyed penguin, supported by Team Hoiho, a noisy bird that is scary close to extinction with 1,700 pairs left, but not even the closest to extinction on this list. That distinction goes to the Kakapo, a really unique parrot that throws off every description of what a parrot is. More later. Their fan base is called Team Kakapo. More votes were cast in 2020 than any previous year. In Bird of the Year, voters can vote for up to five birds with their order of preference. The Antipodean albatross got the most first choice votes, but the Kakapo was ranked highly on more people's lists, so it won in the end, winning this year's competition and becoming the first bird to win Bird of the Year two times. It unseated the Hoiho, or yellow-eyed penguin, who was the winner last year. What's so special about this year's winner? The Kakapo is the world's heaviest parrot, the only nocturnal parrot, the only flightless parrot, and a host of other unique traits. The males sit in dirt bowls and make a deep booming sound to attract females. They can live in most climates in New Zealand, but their range declined immensely with the introduction of invasive predators like dogs and cats. In the 1990s, their population had declined to just 50 members. New Zealand is actively helping the population by moving them to predator-free islands and providing supplemental food to increase their nesting rate. The Kakapo population is now up around 200 and rising each year. This is a fun competition, but it also draws attention to the alarming circumstances for New Zealand's native birds. New Zealand has 168 native birds, and more than half are only found in this one place in the world. There are government protection and recovery programs for some, but it's people's actions that will determine whether these species are around in the future. I hope the Bird of the Year competition continues to grow and save New Zealand's birds. For those of us that live in the rest of the world, it raises an interesting question. What creative and remarkable things can we do to protect the animals around us? Thanks for learning about birds today. You can watch another top video on this channel, and you can subscribe to know when another video enters the race. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.